You're a sound designer who's always looking to improve their craft. And one of those things you might be doing is buying more and more plugins. Yeah, it can be exciting to get that new shiny toy, but it can also be a pitfall. And if you're not careful, you fall into the trap of relying too much on plugins to do the heavy lifting, rather than your creativity in developing your own skills. The truth is, always wanting to buy something new or looking at it kind of distracts you from the work that really needs to be done. And having so many choices can be overwhelming and that doesn't lead to creativity. You can learn and master the tools you already have and learn how to use them in creative ways. The best camera is the one you have with you. And if you have audio software that you can mix and edit, that's fine, you can do the job, you can do sound design. Plus, plugins are expensive. To think you need the latest and greatest tool is a slippery slope. But there's amazing plugins out there right now for free or maybe a cheaper option that do the job just as well. And if you still feel like you need to have that one plugin, make sure it will enhance your workflow first. I mean, I would love to buy a Tesla, but my 20 year old Jeep works just fine. It's very important to keep track of your spending because one of your goals might be to become a sound designer as a job or a side hustle. For example, this is Luke. He can pay his bills by working on short documentaries and commercials, mainly using in-the-box plugins he already has in his DAW. The other guy, well, he buys every single compressor on waves.com, but can't tell you how a compressor works. Hey, before you click something else, click subscribe.